absolute pleasure to be with you today. I cannot believe how many people there are present in this space. It just shows how much enthusiasm there is for this particular project. And a quick shout out, by the way, for Blank Canvas. That is a cracking copy. I, I learned just now, I learned just now that Blank Canvas uh, benefited from the help of Business Wales. And it's great to get feedback to hear how a local business has started off from scratch and grown as a consequence of Welsh Government's involvement, Business Wales, helping to support your growth, contributing to the prosperity of this community. It really is great. It's good to hear that. And my goodness me, it's a, it's a great pleasure to be with you today, in part because this is an important moment in the delivery of a key component of the programme for government. Um, and that finds its origin, as Gareth says, in a conversation that took place about five years ago when I visited Welsh Ice in Caerphilly, which really is an inspirational place to visit. And uh, I was in a different job back then, and we talked about how we could bring the sort of innovation-driven entrepreneurship to communities across Wales. We talked about many areas that would benefit from this sort of co-located, intense innovation. And of course, Wrexham was uh, clearly at the forefront of my mind. It was brilliant that we were able that then to develop plans incorporate them into the manifesto, into the program for government, and now today reach the point of delivery. Um, today is quite a special day actually across North Wales. Earlier this morning as um, elsewhere trying to entice Heathrow to come here with their off-site logistics hub. As then over at Airbus, uh, cutting the sod on the Advanced Manufacturing Research Institute, which is going to contribute something in the region of four billion pounds to the regional economy. You know, for all of the big employers' importance, you don't get big employers thriving unless you've got the entrepreneurs and the innovators and the creatives and the small businesses that are able to support them. Small and micro-sized businesses that form the backbone of every economy across every community. And that's why this particular project is so important. The hub will lead to the creation of 100 new businesses. We'll create 260 new jobs here. In and draw in a million pounds of private sector funding, a huge boost, not just for the town centre, but for the entire region, for all of those people who will be involved in it. And it's particularly important because this is also a collaboration that has involved further education, higher education. Lindo University and Colleg Canberra, and I know that we have representatives of both institutions here today. A great collaborative effort, which is significant because it forms part of the national drive, the Be The Spark drive for collaboration across all stakeholder groups. And I was absolutely delighted to hear about the Bokna Regis project. This is great. This really is great for town squares. It's rewarding to hear about, again, Welsh entrepreneurs looking beyond the border, looking at where they can take advantage of growth and hopefully learn as well from those other areas of the world and bring back some innovative spirit. Um, the other important point to make about this particular hub is that it's inspired the decision to take the same proposals elsewhere across Wales as well, generating wealth and prosperity in some of our most marginalised and deprived communities. And so I've decided to invest a further five million pounds in four additional hubs. And the hub itself is managed by Town Square but it's very much part of the Business Wales family. And Business Wales has been helping thousands of micro, small, medium-sized enterprises. If you haven't sought the help of Business Wales, but you need advice, please do seek out a Business Wales advisor today. Um, this new hub fits perfectly with the recently published Economic Action Plan for Welsh Government. That action plan is designed to drive up levels of wealth and well-being whilst also reducing inequalities in both. It's designed to tackle the productivity challenge that we face and some of the factors that contribute to our lagging productivity include a lack of diffusion of innovation and in some quarters poor leadership skills. Now the hub will not only address the innovation issue but will also develop the right leaders of tomorrow. Hugely important in terms of driving inclusive growth and in terms of contributing to place building, which is at the heart of the new economic action plan, well, we know that this hub will contribute to the vibrancy of Wrexham Town Centre. And I agree with Gareth that something quite special is happening 
in Wrexham right now. In, in recent months, I've been able to announce investments concerning Hot Pack. We had the announcement regarding the rail and bus hub. We've had announcements concerning Pendine Park's expansion. Money Penny continues to go from strength to strength. The Village Bakery, likewise, Ipsen as well. Um, there's the Development Bank of Wales headquartering in Wrexham, and also I'm pleased that we've been able to include in the National Transport Finance Plan key um, congestion points on the A483, which will be resolved in the coming three years. Huge developments contributing to the growth and prosperity of Wrexham. I know that it's something that I'm also always being reminded by, by MP and Lucas and Assembly Member Leslie Griffiths, of the importance of investing in this part of Wales, and I'm delighted that we've been able to do just this. Today is a very special day for Wrexham. It's a great day for the team um, in Town Square. I think we need to take a moment to salute the people who have driven this particular project. I thank you um, sincerely and I wish you the very best for what will be a successful future. Deal, come on.